loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes. again with me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Hello, friends. It's so good to see you again. Are you ready? for a new memory verse. Mm. Okay, what I need you to do first of all is to listen to me saying the memory verse and then you have a go saying it and then we'll all say it and then we'll add some actions. Are you ready? <sighs> Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 34. Wow, that was good. Okay, I'll say it again. Give thanks to the Lord, because he is good. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 34. Can you say it with me? Let's try and say it together. Give thanks, because 1 Chronicles 16, verse 34. Okay, now you say the whole thing. Go, give. Chronicles 16, verse 34. Well done, friends. Okay, let's all say it together. Are you ready? On three. One, two, three. Give thanks to the Lord, because he is good. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 34. That's really good, friends. Now, there's some actions that go along with it. Give thanks. Hmm, what's some action that we can do to give thanks? Hmm, what do you think? How about this? To the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. Let's say it together. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. Very good, friends. Right. Today's lesson comes to us from the Bible. Remember, the Bible is God's word to us. So we know everything it says is true. So during Jesus' time, there were no cars, there were no trains, there were no airplanes. Some people could afford a horse or a donkey to ride on. But most people walked from one place to the next when they wanted to go somewhere. And they didn't have fancy closed shoes like we have today, there were mainly sandals. And, and some people just wore with, walked with bare feet. Now, you can imagine, if it rained, their feet got really dirty. If it didn't rain, still their feet got very dusty. 
So Jesus's feet must have been pretty dirty from walking everywhere. Hmm. And we're going to have a story here in a second that I want to read to you. And it's from the Bible. Like I said earlier, we know everything in the Bible is true. So one day, Jesus was having dinner in the home of a man called Simon. And a woman came into the house. And the, and the people who were having dinner with Jesus, they, they didn't like the woman because she had done some bad things. But this woman, see, she didn't care what other people thought. She only cared about Jesus. And she wanted to thank him for who he was. And the woman came in and she was crying. Have you ever fallen and, and tears come down your face? And you go to wipe your face and a tear might fall down onto your hand. Yeah. Well, she was, she was crying and, the te- and her tears wet Jesus' feet. She had long hair and she took her hair and she used her hair to wipe Jesus' feet. See, she had brought with her an expensive bottle of really nice smelling perfume. She poured the perfume on Jesus' feet and she washed Jesus' feet. This was her way of saying thank or of saying thank you to Jesus. No one at that dinner table was thanking Jesus. They were mad at the woman. They were, who's this lady coming in here? (gasps) They were not happy with her. But Jesus told them that she was doing a good thing. She was the only one who had shown her love and thanks to Jesus. And Jesus said to the lady, he said, I forgive you and all the bad things you've done. That's one more reason for the woman to give thanks to Jesus. And we can thank God for who he is and for everything he does for us. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, we had a story about a group of people who were ill, who were sick, and Jesus healed them. Do you remember? One of them went back to thank Jesus. Not everyone will praise and thank God. They might even think we're weird for saying thank you to God for something. But that shouldn't stop us, should it? We should remember, I can tell God, thank you, even if no one else does. Isn't that a good story today? That even if not every single person is thanking Jesus for something, if he's done something good to you, we should thank him. And Jesus' feet were dirty from having walked everywhere. And the woman used her tears to clean his feet. She wiped them with her hair. And then she took his feet after they were nice and clean And she took some really nice smelling perfume and put it on Jesus' feet. So his feet before might have been stinky. But after she did this, his feet were clean. And Everyone at that table must have smelled Jesus' feet after she put the perfume on his feet. And they must have looked around and said, She thanked Jesus, but none of us did. Okay, were you listening? Let's see if you can tell someone the answers to my questions. What was the woman doing when she came into the room when she saw Jesus? Do you remember? Yeah, I heard a few of you saying it. She was crying, wasn't she? Did anyone else there? Were were they thanking Jesus? I'll give you, I'll give you a clue. No, they weren't. What what did the lady, oh, how did the lady clean Jesus' feet? First, 
her tears and then her hair. And then she took perfume and put it on Jesus' feet. Hmm. What are some ways that we can tell God, thank you? Or what are some things that we can say thank you to God for? Hmm. Good one. I heard another one there, yeah. What else can you say thank you for? That's so good. A lot of you are very thankful today to Jesus. Keep, keep on telling me some of them. What, what's something else that you can say thank you for? What's something you think your mom and dad might say thank you for? That's good. What's something your brother or your sister might say thank you for? For you, I'm sure your brother and sister are very thankful for you. Well, anything else? That's really good, friends. So what I want you to do this week, remember, we're going to do the memory verse this week. And I want you again to think of one thing every single day to thank God for. Because, see, it's coming up to Thanksgiving. And around the time of Thanksgiving, we, we can stop and we can take that extra time to be thankful to God. Hmm. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. And we can remind ourselves how good he is. Our memory verse, give thanks to the Lord because he is good. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34. So every day this week, I want you to say the memory verse, and then I want you to, to think of something that you are thankful for. Friends, it was so good to see you again today. Let's pray, and then you can end today's lesson by telling someone one thing you're thankful for, okay? Dear God, you are good. Thank you that you are always good to us. We love you. Help us to be thankful at all times. In Jesus' name, amen. So I want you right now, before you forget, go and tell someone something that you are thankful for. Thank you for coming to Jam Club, friends. Bye. Thank you.